everybody. Good morning. This is One Worship, One Praise. We're coming to you this morning on this good, good, blessed Mother's Day. I'm going to uh, open it up with the scripture and the prayer this morning. The scripture is Isaiah 56 and 1. It says, this is what the Lord says. Maintain justice and do what is right. For my salvation is close at hand and my righteousness will soon be revealed. Amen. Maintain justice. Amen. Thank you, God. Let's bow our hands so we can pray. Thank you, God, for everything that you're doing for us this morning. I, I thank you for waking us up this morning. I ask you to bless all the mothers that's out here that's really doing what, what you want them to do, God. I ask you to just guide us in the right direction and just rebuke anything that's not of you, God. Amen. Amen. Continue to be in us. Continue to be in everybody. All the kids, all the mothers, all the fathers, grandparents, everybody. God. Amen. All right, now I'm going to read our mission statement this morning. One worship, one praise. One worship, one praise stands for we have now worship, we have now praise. Started by God, revealed to Minister J and Queen Bassey. The two started this ministry to reach the ones that are from the same background and are the ones who are looking for, to them for spiritual teaching. This ministry will help all that would love to grow and go forward in the name of the Father in heaven. One worship, one praise is pronounced one worship, one praise to symbolize that we all must be in one spirit to come together in one worship with one praise to our God. So all are welcome to join us in this unity of oneness. In this ministry, we will address each other as king, queen, prince, princesses, in honoring of the power and strength that lives within us. We're going to go to, what I say, Ephesians 6, 1 through 3. All right. It says, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment in a promise, with a promise, that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on earth. With that being said, honor your mother and your father. Amen. Amen. Then I have a little, just a little scripture, like a definition of uh, mother. It says, who is a good mother in the Bible? Question mark. It's a mother who keeps on loving her children through the entire life, in spite of the fact that her role in their life changes with time. Her love and her care for the children remain the same all the time. Amen. Now I'm going to turn it over to Minister Jay. Not that too, but I'm going to go into go to God in prayer, and then I'm going to get into this message. We weren't going to do any singing today. We're going to go ahead and do this and give this word, these revelations that God has given us, and get out the way. Father God in heaven, we thank you. We come to you asking you to glory. And we thank you for your um, mercy and your grace. We glorify your name. We come to you asking you to bless us to move out the way. Bless this sermon as it goes forward. Touch every mother out here that's doing it and taking care of responsibilities. As a mother, I ask you to just bless the princesses as they grow up. If they're going to have children, bless them to be a good mother. Touch everybody in this world. We need you. Bless us as fathers to step up too, Father God, because it takes a father to help the mother also. Forgive us of all the sins we have done against thee. In the name of God, we rebuke you, saying thank you, God. Amen. We're going to go right into this message. We ain't going to take no time. Nah, just wait. But now I want to say happy Mother's Day to my mom. To my uh, my birth mom, I love you, Marilyn Vassie. And to my mother-in-law, happy Mother's Day to you too, Emma Icky. But no, we're going to go ahead and get into this. We're going to take care of God's business. But today I want to speak on the topic of my lesson is taking care of or raise or to raise a child. 
because that's what a mothership is when you start to take care of or raise a child. The definition of care, serious attention or consideration applied doing to apply to do something correctly or to avoid damage or risk. That's care. So you can see why I said to take care of or to raise a child. So when you have care for a child, daughter or son, that means the attentions are serious. There is no more playing when you have stepped into motherhood. There is no more playing when you have stepped into taking care of responsibilities not for only you but also for the one that's up under you. So care means serious attention or consideration. Nowadays we got a we got we got a lot of mothers not taking serious attention into their children or being considerate about their children. Consideration also consists of sacrifice. When you sacrifice things, it means to give up some things because some things have happened. Or take on some things because some things have happened. That's consideration. And it says correctly. Doing something correctly. That's what care is. When you're doing the things correctly to avoid damage. So when you're taking care of a beautiful child. Uh, uh, male or female you are making sure that you are, are a nurturer you are a, a person a, a, a woman that provides care that provides the, the, the comfort the need the, the stability the, the uh, love the, the, the peace for this child you making sure everything is for this child when, so once it gets older it can be nurtured in the right way the definition of consideration, careful thought, typically over a period of time. So in order to have consideration, you must have careful thoughts. The thoughts must be to make sure that this something that is watching you as it grows older is not going down the wrong path. Again, to take care of or to raise a child, motherhood. So when you start to take serious attention, pay serious attention to your children, you will know what it likes, what it don't like, what it can and what it can't do, how it feels when it's up or in or down. Because now you're paying serious attention. You know what scream means it wants milk. You know what scream it means to my diaper need change. You know what scream it means to just hold me. Because you're paying serious attention and having consideration. You're taking your time and making it their time. Because once you become into a mother or motherhood, you must have consideration. That, ooh, like I said, consideration, careful thought, typically over a period of time. So that thought of you being by yourself is no longer. Now you have to make sure your actions are according to the child that you are raising. And just because you are in a child's life or you are buying the child things, that is not the care that I'm speaking of. I'm speaking of the care that will be there when the child needs information of growth time. When there is woman development periods going on, man development periods going on, there is times that a, a male needs his mother. A male or female needs their mother because there are things that the child will confide in as a mother that it won't do to a father. The definition of raise. To increase the amount, level, or strength. So now you got care. You 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 doing you you paying serious attention to it because that's your care. 
You care. That's what care means. To have serious intentions or consideration. Now you're not only caring, you're raising this, this child. You're raising this child. You are increasing the amount of mental state. You're increasing the amount of body weight because you're feeding not only the body, but you're feeding the brain careful raising. Now I want you to go with me to Proverbs, the 22nd chapter, in the 6th verse. Proverbs 22 and 6. It says, start children off on the way they should go. And when they are old, they will not turn from it. Those of you who are just vibing in or tuning in or well, getting into the, the, the sermon, I'm talking about to take care of or raise a child, motherhood. And I gave the definitions of care. The definition of care is to have serious intentions or consideration applied to doing something correctly. This is how you take care of a child when you are a mother. This is how you take care of a child. In position of parentship, it says to do, to, uh, I mean, it says to have serious intention or consideration applied to doing something correctly or to avoid damage or risk. So when you are taking care of the child in Proverbs 22 and 6, it says start children off the way and the way on the way they should go. So now your care is teaching this child the way it should be raised so it can live when you're not around. So it should be starting off with the, 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 the uh, 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 installments of you. If you are planted in the Holy Spirit, the installments that are in you will start to install or download into the children. You're starting the children off right. You're making sure that they're not amongst this world. This is how it is to take care of or raise a child. It says, Proverbs 22 and 6 says, Start children off on the way they should go. And when they are old, they will not turn from it. So, whatever a child basically has been getting in trouble for or doing throughout the period of time from the age of 1 to 18, most likely they have seen it in the characteristics of their parents. Because that's what you started to install or started to program so they break and download what you have done. But you got to understand that raising a child is not easy, so that's why you have to have the counseling of the Holy Spirit. Now let's go to, to Proverbs 13, 24. I'm still speaking on taking care of or to raise a child, motherhood. Proverbs 13, 24. It says, whoever spares the rod hates their children, but who loves their who, but who loves their is careful. Who I ah, forget. Me. But who love their children is careful to the discipline them. Whoever spares the rod hates their children. So one who do not correct a child on worldly natures, worldly aspects, worldly perceptions, they're letting their child go astray or leading their children astray. So we got to be parents today, mothers. Mothers, there is so many beautiful queens out here today, but there is also so many limited queens out here today. You got a lot of people having babies and don't want nothing to do with them. You got a lot of people, a lot of mothers having babies and neglecting how they're supposed to be when they have a child. They don't